One of the big controversies out there is about sugar. Are carbohydrates good? Are they bad? What's their role in life? And they're really about the sweetness of life. And it's a reward for yourself, usually for a job well done. It's also a great source of energy, and it's a great brain fuel. We know that glucose is the primary brain fuel. However, it depends on the situation that you're in. If you're rewarding yourself every 10 minutes with something sweet and sugary, that's too much. If you never have anything sweet, then that will show in your personality. And so we have to have that right balance of all the elements. That's where we've arrived at this idea of fats and carbohydrates, protein, and all three of those have their place at the right time in the right situation. If we're dealing with a cancer that has a huge amount of receptor sites for insulin, then we don't want to be bombarding ourselves with all these carbohydrates. However, if we're young, we're healthy, or even if we're older and healthy, then carbohydrates have their role. My favorite carbohydrate is honey. And the reason is, is because it's an amazing distillation of the essence of an ecosystem by bees. What an incredible insect to be able to have these colonies, 25,000, 50,000 bees in a colony, all working together to produce this amazing substance. Other people might say, hey, you know, I like papaya, that's my favorite, or mango, that's my favorite type of carbohydrate. Some people like long chain carbohydrates that are more like sweet potato or potato or that kind of a carbohydrate. But everyone has their role. And in looking at how to deliver chocolate, thousands of years ago, native people realized that taking the honey actually of the melipona bee, which is the indigenous bees of Central America that are stingless, is a really sweet and beautiful way to do chocolate. And then that eventually developed into entire industries that are made of sweetened chocolate today. In fact, the entire candy industry really begins with two foods, chocolate and honey. And from there, we can derive everything else. Now, interestingly, chocolate and honey are premier longevity substances. The longest lived people in the world are honey eaters and they are chocolate eaters. So this whole thing of just honey is bad or carbohydrates are bad is just, it's totally inappropriate. In fact, it's ridiculous. It depends on the situation that you are personally in. If you feel good eating honey as I do, then by all means have it. It's healthy, it's good for you. Rudolf Steiner said that there's nothing more powerful than having the right amount of honey in your diet. Now going beyond that, with sacred chocolate, for example, we use different kinds of sweeteners. One of the sweeteners that we like to use is maple sugar. And the reason why we do that is because it's a low glycemic, blood building sweetener that has a tremendous quantity of minerals as far as sweetener goes. For a product like this, the amount that we pay for that sweetener, for the maple sugar, is 10 times higher than what is paid for cane sugar. And that's a qualitative difference and an important difference. Sometimes we produce chocolates that have no sugary materials in them. For example, like an erythritol, which is a polyol or, or a sugar alcohol that doesn't spike blood sugar or an inulin that doesn't spike blood sugar. So it's again what we need. If it's xylitol, that's an amazing five chain sugar, but it's not a sweet sugar in the sense of feeding um, bacteria, for example, or feeding into the insulin receptor site. So it doesn't spike blood sugar. Again, depending on the situation, depending on the person, a different type of carbohydrate is required. We like maple sugar. I personally like honey. We're beekeepers here. It's part of how we like to live and it's part of the research into longevity. The longest lived peoples, again, chocolate eaters, honey eaters, olive oil consumers, and drink dark phenolic wines and alcohol, of course, is a type of carbohydrate. And an interesting delivery system. I guess I'll sum it up by this. Chocolate is great by itself, it's pretty bitter, but if you wanted to take chocolate, mix it with some herbs and deliver it, then you're gonna need a carbohydrate to really make it delicious. Hence the idea of the Amazonian chocolate bar, which is right here. Hence the idea of the immuno mushroom chocolate bar, which is right here. We deliver all of these amazing ingredients, all of these herbs and chocolate with maple sugar. I'm David Avocado Wolf, wishing you the sweetest day ever.